The main goal when we started working on Beneath the Ashes was to bring an all new gameplay and story experience, something that would be more than just an expansion pack, but a whole new adventure. The story in Beneath the Ashes starts with Laura finding a document that her father had written about an artifact that he had hidden away. In order to find this artifact, she has to travel back to the remains of Croft Manor and dig even deeper into her father's past. Our main goal on Beneath the Ashes was to create a new adventure for Lara, in this case a medieval dungeon for her to explore. We wanted to have each area have its own unique feel. It's really inspired by medieval, spooky, scary kind of horror vibe. <laughs> we actually did a lot of reference research, looking at torture devices. To me, the thought that there's this large labyrinth beneath the house is unsettling. If it was under my house, I'd, I would move. Uh, <laughs> you know? I think what people are gonna like most in Beneath the Ashes, other than it looks great, is the new puzzles. The new puzzles are some of the most involved puzzles we have. It really takes everything Laura has and puts it to use. We really wanted to take some of the systems from Tomb Raider Underworld, like the grapple, and really expand upon what you could do with it. Since it's a more focused project, we've really been able to focus on the details, not only with the aesthetics, but also with the interactivity and dynamics of the environment. My absolute favorite area of the dungeon is right up top in the center of the main dungeon itself where there's sunlight streaking in and a very sharp contrast with darkness in the corners. There's spider webs everywhere, which is totally creepy. And you just get this impending feeling that no one has touched this area in, in so long, and it's extremely mysterious.